Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Evaluate cosine of 36 degrees minus sine of 18 degrees. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. The question is to evaluate cosine of 36 degrees minus sine of 18 degrees. This is very simple if we use calculator or scientific calculator. But in this video, we will use another method to evaluate cosine 36 degrees minus sine 18 degrees. I provide two solutions in this question. The first one is by using trigonometric identities and the second one, a different method, using geometry. Now, let's have our first solution. Let's get this sine 18 degrees. We need to solve this first before we solve cosine of 36 degrees. Now, let theta be equal to 18 degrees. And then, notice that if we multiply both sides by 5, this will give us 5 times 18 degrees or simply 90 degrees. Now, this is great because a lot of identities in trigonometry consist of this 90 degrees. Now, from here, don't forget that the value of our theta must be equal to 18 degrees. Now, let's continue. Pi theta can be written as 2 theta plus 3 theta. So, 2 theta plus 3 theta is 5 theta. Now, let's subtract 3 theta on both sides. Now, let's get sine on both sides. So we have sine of 2 theta equals sine of 90 degrees minus 3 theta. Now at this point, we will use a lot of trigonometric identities. And here's the first one. That cosine of A equals sine of 90 degrees minus A. On the right-hand side, we have sine of 90 degrees minus 3 theta. Therefore, the right-hand side can be written as cosine of 3 theta. Now at this point, this 3 theta can be break into theta plus 2 theta. Why we do that? Because we will use again another trigonometric identity that says that if we have cosine of a plus b, it is equivalent to cosine of a times cosine of b minus sine of a times sine of b. Therefore, the right-hand side can be written as cosine theta times cosine of 2 theta minus sine of theta times sine of 2 theta. And now, let's focus to this cosine 2 theta because recall that cosine of 2a is equivalent to cosine squared a minus sine squared of a. Also, we have sine of 2 theta and sine of 2a is equivalent to 2 times sine of a times cosine of a. So, we will use those identities to answer this question or to evaluate this expression cosine of 36 degrees minus sine of 18 degrees. Now, cosine 2 theta, we know using this identity, this equivalent to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Now, don't forget that we have 2 sine of 2 theta. Thus, we can replace this by 2 sine theta times cosine of theta. Now, notice that all terms have a factor of cosine theta. Thus, if we divide all terms by cosine theta, we cancel out this factor cosine theta. This will give us an equation of 2 sine theta equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta minus sine theta times 2 sine of theta. Now, let's simplify. Sine theta times 2 sine theta will give us 2 sine squared theta. Now, let's combine like terms. We have negative sine squared theta and we have negative 2 sine squared theta. Therefore, the right-hand side is equivalent to cosine squared theta minus 3 times sine squared theta. Now, let's rewrite all terms in terms of sine. Now, using Pythagorean identity, cosine squared A is equivalent to 1 minus sine squared A. Therefore, this cosine squared theta can be replaced by 1 minus sine squared theta. And again, negative sine squared theta minus 3 times sine squared theta will give us 
4 times sine squared theta. Now, we have an equation in terms of sine. Now, let's rearrange some terms a little bit and equate this equation to zero. Now, we have a quadratic equation in terms of sine. Thus, we can use quadratic formula to find the value of sine theta. So, we have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this case, the value of b in this equation must be 2. So, we can replace all b with 2. And a, we have 4. And the value of c must be negative 1. Now, let's simplify the numbers inside the radical sign. We have 2 squared or 4. Negative 4 times 4 times negative 1 will give us 16. So, 4 plus 16 will give us 20. And 20 is just 4 times 5. And square root of 20 can be written as 2 times square root of 5. Now, we have a factor of 2 on the numerator and a factor of 2 on the denominator. So, we can cancel both of them. Thus, this will give us sine of theta must be equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 4. But don't forget that this theta is 18 degrees. Therefore, we can say that the value of sine theta must be equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. Now, we have the value for sine of 18 degrees. Now, how about cosine of 36 degrees? Now, let's get cosine of 36 degrees. Take note that 36 is 2 times 18 degrees. Alright? Now, let's replace again this 18 degrees with theta to make it simple. And we have now again cosine of 2 theta. And using some identities, some trigonometric identities, cosine 2 theta is equivalent to 1 minus 2 times sine squared theta. And again, let's bring back the value of theta. Theta is just 18 degrees. And 2 times 18 degrees will give us again 36 degrees. And on the right-hand side, we have here sine squared of 18 degrees. And this can be written as sine 18 degrees quantity squared. Now, we have the value of sine 18 degrees. This is just negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. So we can put this value on sine of 18 degrees. Now, let's solve the value of cosine of 36 degrees. Let's square negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. This will give us 1 minus 2 times square root of 5 plus 5 over 16. Now, 1 plus 5 will give us 6. On the numerator, we have a factor of 2. And on the denominator, we also have a factor of 2. So, we can cancel both of them. Now, 2 divided by 8, this will give us 4 or 1 fourth. And now, 1 minus 3 minus square root of 5 over 4, we can simplify this. This will give us 4 minus 3 plus square root of 5 over 4. Now, 4 minus 3 is just 1. Therefore, the value of cosine 36 degrees is exactly 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. Now, our goal is to find the difference of cosine 36 degrees and sine of 18 degrees. So, this is just 1 plus square root of 5 over 4 minus negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 4. Now, since we have the same denominator, so we can combine them. This will give us 1 plus square root of 5 plus 1 minus square root of 5 all over 4. Now, positive square root of 5 and negative square root of 5 cancel out. And 1 plus 1 is just 2. And 2 over 4 is just 1 half. Therefore, Cosine 36 degrees minus sine 18 degrees must be equal to 1 half. And we're done on our first solution. Now, here's our second solution using geometry. Now, another way to solve for the value of cosine 36 degrees minus sine 18 degrees is by using a regular pentagon with a side length of 1. Now, what we're going to do here is to create two line segment like this and what are we going to notice here take note that these two segments are equal and also these two segments are also equal now another thing to remember here is the measure of the interior angle of this regular polygon the measure of the interior angle of a regular polygon can be computed by this formula 180 degrees times n minus 2 all over n. 
And this n is the number of side of the regular polygon. Now in this case, we have a pentagon, so this n is just 5. Now 5 minus 2 is just 3. So we have 180 times 3 divided by 5. Now 180 divided by 5 is 36. 36 times 3 will give us 108. Therefore, the measure of the interior angle of this polygon or this pentagon is 108 degrees. Now let's consider this trapezoid. We know this is 108 degrees and also the other one is 180 degrees. Now what is the measure of these two remaining angles? So let's call this as angle A. Now take note that if we add all those angles, angle A plus angle A plus 108 plus 108, this will add up to 360 degrees. Now let's solve for the value of A. 108 plus 108, this will give us 216, and A plus A is just 2A. Now subtract 216 on both sides. 360 minus 216 will give us 144, and 144 divided by 2 will give us 72. Therefore, the measure of this angle must be 72 degrees, also the other angle. Now let's rotate this trapezoid like this. Now take note that this angle right here is also 72 degrees by the same computation. Now, at this point, let's focus on this triangle right here on the top. Now notice that we can get this angle right here. This is just 108, the total angle, minus 72 degrees. Or simply, this angle must be 36 degrees. Now, we have 36 degrees and we want cosine of 36 degrees. Alright, and now let's focus on this triangle. The sum of the interior angles of this triangle must be adds up to 180 degrees. Therefore, the other angle must be 72 degrees. And now, this triangle is also an isosceles triangle, wherein its two sides are equal. Now, take note that the length of the side of this regular pentagon is 1. Since these two sides are equal, therefore, this is just both equal to 1. Now, at this point, we are now ready to find the value of cosine 36 degrees. What we're going to do is to drop a perpendicular bisector like this. Wherein, this is perpendicular to this yellow segment and perpendicular to the base of this pentagon. Now, this perpendicular line is also the perpendicular bisector of this yellow segment and the base of this regular pentagon. Now, how are we going to use this information to solve for the value of cosine of 36 degrees? And we now know that we have a right triangle right here. Now, let's take this two equal segment. Let's call this as x, and why not? Now, since the total length of this yellow segment is 1 plus x, therefore, Half of it must be equal to 1 plus x divided by 2. Now at this point, we are now ready to find the value of cosine 36 degrees. This is just the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Or simply, cosine 36 degrees must be equal to 1 plus x over 2 all over 1. Or simply, 1 plus x over 2. Now, let's go back to our previous figure and let's get the value of sine of 18 degrees. Now your question might be what is the value of this variable x or the length of this segment? Now even though we don't get the value of this variable x, we still get the difference of cosine 36 degrees and sine of 18 degrees. But if you want to solve for this value of x, the value of x is somewhat related to the golden ratio. Again, as I said, even though we don't get the value of this variable x, we still get the difference of cosine 36 degrees and sine 18 degrees. Now the question is, how will we do that? First thing to do is to drop a perpendicular line like this, such that this line is perpendicular to the base of this isosceles triangle. And since it is an isosceles triangle, this perpendicular line also serves as a perpendicular base sector of this base and also, this will serve as an angle bisector. Therefore, this 36 degrees is divided into 18 degrees and 18 degrees. Now, since we know the length of this segment is also equal to x, 
Therefore, half of it must be equal to x over 2. Now, we can use this right triangle to solve for the value of sine of 18 degrees. This is just the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Or simply, sine of 18 degrees must be equal to x over 2 over 1. x over 2 over 1 is just x over 2. Now, we want the difference of cosine 36 degrees and sine of 18 degrees. This is equivalent to cosine 36 degrees minus sine of 18 degrees or simply equal to 1 plus x over 2 minus x over 2. Now, 1 plus x over 2 can be written as 1 over 2 plus x over 2. Now, x over 2 minus x over 2 cancel out. Therefore, the value of cosine of 36 degrees minus sine of 18 degrees is simply 1 over 2. Now, two different methods and we get the same result. Therefore, we can say that the value of cosine 36 degrees minus sine 18 degrees must be equal to 1 half. And as always, we are done.